Hi, this is Sam at ARC. We're looking at a new development. And this is something that's been around for a few years, but now we've brought it to life. It's a anemometer, and we're going to be using it to measure the, the exhaust gas velocity out of this fan stove, a new fan stove. It uh, is a pitot static type sensor. So the, the gas comes in here and impacts one side of the pressure transducer and here it flows by to measure the static pressure. We're also measuring temperature, and from that we can get the, the density of the fluid. There's a heat shield here, and back here we have the pressure transducer, which has a range of 0 to 25 pascals. We're only using about 0 to 2.5 pascals of that range, or maybe up to 5. So it's really, really sensitive. And uh, one we're using is by Mamanek Instruments. The lens is recording the data that comes out. There's some electronic connection there and it's going to the lens to record both the temperature and the, the dynamic pressure that we're measuring. So with the lens we can, at the same time that we're measuring the particulate matter and the CO and the CO2, we can now add an array of thermocouples and also this, this dynamic pressure. So we get a lot of cool stuff out of the stove with our, with our system. So pretty soon here we'll light up the stove and, and show you how it works. Well, um, howdy everybody. I was, for many years, I wanted to know how does velocity and temperature affect the um, heat transfer. And uh, so we have tried to get a way to measure uh, velocity but we really haven't been successful. And so it was great that Nordica, Dale Andrietta, Sam uh, put this together. And so really for the first time, we're able to start to uh, play around with velocity of the gases and the temperature to try to maximize the thermal efficiency. And uh, this is a, great stove to use for this because the jets of air come up from the bottom and so you can see we're getting higher velocity gases uh, which would then be hitting the pot. So, um, so far we've been able to get 54% thermal efficiency with this probably because we have a higher velocity uh, at about 700 degrees centigrade for the gases. Now that Dean got it warmed up, we'll, we'll go ahead and get this experiment going and two weeks from now you'll see the next newsletter and you'll see what results we got. And you'll, you'll be able to see the new sensor box and see how all the data comes integrated together. It makes it really easy to understand and learn what's going on in the stove. See you next time.